Here's my skylight, trying to show off what I feel is the secret to this beautiful macroalgae you see growing upstairs under the natural sunlight. But <laughs> uh, as luck would have it, that's not really why it's doing so well. That's part, part of the reason, but that's not really it. So my daughter is off to college and it's time to move the nano or the contents of the nano into the main display. Look at some of that um, Aptasia. It's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> oh, and the poor lonely little clown. It's all falling asleep here in the anemone. Hello, spicy reefers. Wave. <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. A tank within a tank. <laughs> I mean, that does kind of help with the problem. I don't know if it solves the problem. Looks like they want to keep them company. I'm not sure if that's exactly what they're doing. I know the whole time I was putting, getting that whole thing um, situated, uh, they were actually, they hadn't attacked me in a long time. I, I had been cleaning the tank, but since I was so close to their NEM because they'd become attached to that thing, um, they started attacking me a little bit. And I wonder if they're doing the same thing here. But now look at them go. <laughs> you never know until you let them out. And then once you let them out, man, it's so difficult to catch a fish in this tank. I just don't want to go through the hassle. So we'll see how this goes for a little bit. But um, the one thing and the reason I'm filming here and I almost forgot that I completely spaced out on. So I've got, you see how the, the water um, gets sucked in through those holes there. And the reason it's getting sucked in is because I have a nice little chimney stack effect going with the water bubbles. You can see all the bubbles in the water. That's pretty cool. I like that effect. A lot of people don't like um, water bubbles in their main display, but I like them. They're kind of hanging out here on this side because they get sucked into the filter that's behind that rock eventually. The majority of the, the bubbles that are going up that stack, they come out the top there and they immediately get sucked into the, the other um, sponge filter that I have hiding back there. But anyway, the one thing that I did not think of is feeding. How am I gonna feed this little dude? <laughs> so, it's actually pretty easy because um, I usually feed the NEMS manually anyway. Um, so all I need to do is poke a hole in the top or the top side of that container. And then when I feed the NEMS, I can squirrel a mice shrimp in there as well. And so it'll be just fine. Now there was also this stunning anemone, <laughs> which does not look so stunning right now. It's very angry. We're gonna go ahead and put it in for our poor little prisoner, bully clownfish. We're gonna go ahead and add it in there. And I thought it would take to that mushroom a little bit better. Oh yeah, that's another thing I was also given these beautiful Recordia mushrooms. Look at those. Clownfish don't really like these bubble tip anemones, the, the bubble bubble ones. They like the long bubble anemones. <laughs> and they really like that. And they're defending it. Every time I put my hand in there now, they come and they give me aggressive kisses, encouraging me to, to get away. gonna let it go wherever it wants to in there. 
You can run, but you can't hide. Boy, I'm making messes here. Don't need that anymore. Ah, yeah. This is what you get for trying to be ingenious. And I've got to get the top all the way on because the only way I'm going to wedge it between the rocks is with the top all the way on. Okay, let's see how pissed off this anemone really is going to be. No, don't come out of there. I didn't wedge it very well, did I? I got to get back in there. All right, so there's the nem. It's got that beautiful green center. Kind of like the one upstairs, only the one upstairs is a little browner. All right, I've got to get back in there and kind of wedge it a little bit better because I think it's going to escape. Still don't know what's going on with the mushroom in there. I think I see it. We'll see, we'll see where this nem ends up. This is our long-term acclimation. I had hopes of having a clown in a bottle, but as it turns out, it's not so popular around here. Um, we do have high hopes that they'll all get along and this acclimation will go well, but we'll just have to see how it goes. My first thought is not enough NEMS. There isn't enough data on this stuff on the net, um, as I wish there was, as far as what works and why it works and what does not work and why it doesn't work. But um, let me know your thoughts on clowns. Spicy Reef here, signing off. Now what are you doing? I think I got it. How do you know if it's up or down? I was wondering why that ball kept getting bigger. And then it hit me. <laughs> That's awkward. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs>